Good afternoon. Welcome to CA&J Farm. I am Jean. Today we're going to give you a look at the dogs and where they live and uh, how their lives are. Um, remember, we're a medicinal urban egg farm here in Matthews County, Virginia. My husband and I are healthy, happy seniors that are homesteading here. And uh, we, we just, uh, our farm sings. It sings even through the bad because you got to find positive notes. And, um, and we definitely try to do that, even when things aren't going correctly sometimes. Anyway, I want to introduce you to Jack and Jill. This is our second video, and our first one was last week, and I just kind of gave you a brief introduction to the farm. That looks like Jack over there. Jill, I can hear her barking way back there. There's actually a, a family graveyard back there near the back corner of our property um, that is still active. And uh, when they're having a funeral, I, I put Jack and Jill in this little pen here where their dog barn is um, so that they won't be back there barking at them during the services. I think they're a little scared of the, of the phone and the cameras, but hopefully they'll get over that. I was trying to use my Yeehaw Cam, which was a strap that held this on my hat so I could have my hands free, but that's not working yet. I'll have to practice with that. If you look back there, you see the chickens and ducks, and that small barn is where all the straw and supplies are, and then there's another big vegetable garden back there too. But anyway, today we're going to talk about the dogs. They're both uh, Great White Pyrenees. We'll go in there and get a little closer. They are almost six years old. They both weigh about 110 pounds or so. They live here in this dog barn. They are farm dogs. If you look up what's the best livestock guardian dog, up rolls the Great White Pyrenees. They are totally protective of their area, and uh, Jack and Jill rule this fenced-in acre, and uh, don't let it, they keep everybody safe, including us. Um, they live here in this dog barn. My husband built it and the feed table there. That makes it really easy for them to, to eat because it picks them up off the ground a little bit. The dog barn has got straw in it, and they're just happy as anything in there. Sometimes we even go in there with them. They always enjoy that. It's a big room. has two doors, and sometimes you come out and you got a dog laying in each door. We do take them to the vet uh, at least once a year uh, for checkups. And uh, I wish I knew a natural flea treatment. Jill! Jill! Come on! Jill! I wish I knew a good natural flea and tick treatment, but I don't. I, everything I've tried just does not work long enough. Of course, these guys live outside, so they need something, you know, good, and I can't be putting it on like 10 times a day. Um, so right now, I've got them on front line and, um, and heartworm medicine, and that's about as good as I can do because I don't want them to get ticks and fleas. They, um, we don't bathe them, but we do brush them at least two to three times a week. Um, I don't know how they would do in the wild because they, they do mat so terribly. But uh, we're always, you know, trying to keep them as clean as we can. But really, really, they, they do pretty good. Hey, boy, he's a good boy. They keep getting so close, it's hard for me to get him in the camera. There's Jill. I think she's a little skittish on the, on the, on the camera. Let's see if I can get a little closer there. Here she is. But they're both happy as can be back here, farm dogs. They have never been chained. Uh, we are going to have to practice on a leash for next year, though. We hope to walk in the Matthews Christmas Parade. And it'll be just gorgeous. Yes, they will, walking in the Matthews Christmas Parade. I think they'll, the people will enjoy that a lot. Uh, anyway, thank you. Hope you've enjoyed meeting Jack and Jill. I'm sorry they're, they're getting too close for, to really see them. There we go. But... Um, Really appreciate you helping us uh, with our ginormous uh, chicken and dog food bill. And so please uh, subscribe. And uh, every week we'll be talking about other aspects of the farm. Next week I think is the herbs and then the ducks and then the chickens. And there's on and on and on. Anyway, we look forward to, to visiting with you again. Uh, please uh, like um, our, our channel and leave comments. I would love that. And um, hopefully I'll get some, uh, some better pictures of these guys, too, as we, as we do more. I'll be able to um, do more as I get better equipment. You can see how muddy we are. Oh, my goodness. Well, happy Tuesday. I'll see you next week. Thank you. Oh, remember, you can check us out at cajfarm.com. Bye.